good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for uh, midday update, day 12th of May 2017 on Friday. Please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now overnight we've had a mixed session. You have the US market certainly under pressure on the back of weaker retail sales from Coles and Macy's. Okay, although economic data in terms of jobs certainly was strong. Okay, we also have the ongoing concern with regards to the sacking of Mr. Comey. Obviously, the political chaos and the ramifications of that in terms of the health care and the tax form, tax, uh, uh, the tax reform bill, uh, and the ability for Trump to actually pass that. Uh, again, certainly does create negative uh, side effects. Now, the uh, Nikkei overnight certainly under pressure, down 0.4%. Okay, the Shanghai certainly uh, stellar up 0.7 percent but then again it will certainly do an oversold bounce it will certainly do an oversold bounce given the uh, the level of um, weakness we have seen this week okay now in terms of european markets this morning <clears throat> economic data we've had uh, german gdp coming out slightly weaker than expected at 0.6 expected was 0.7 but nevertheless <clears throat> coming in strong uh, now for my uh, um, the argument or counter argument is that a stronger economic data Certainly out of the Eurozone indicates that Mr. Draghi has no option but to a potential hike rate and curb QE potentially uh, opens up the tapering talk. Now, we've had stronger inflation data from the likes of Spain, although we have had industrial production come in on, or come in on the weaker side. Uh, French data certainly came in much stronger. Non-farm payrolls and wages or wage growth certainly coming in certainly strong again, exerting more pressure on Mr. Draghi. To go ahead and actually uh, raise rates and potentially tape. We are now awaiting retail sales from the US, uh, CPI day of retail sales, Michigan's consumer sentiment, Ben Baker, Hughes rig count as well. That will be interesting in terms of the direction of oil. Okay, now where do we stand from a um, uh, technical perspective? Let's start off with the German DAX first and foremost. It's a bearish engulfing candle yesterday. We're consolidating today within that candle. 60 minute chart again looking at this formation looking for a bear flag to play out looking for the right shoulder to hold and trigger a potential hns formation so keep an eye on that all eyes on the hns formation on the german dax 10 minute chart on the german dax you are now coming into resistance again okay you've certainly closed the gap at 12 7 10 if we really do flush then we're going down to 12 6 70 so certainly bear that in mind Resistance is seen here at 12.740, and let's see if that holds, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's just have a look here, and let's see exactly where we stand. Daily chart, again, inside bar, consolidation, bearish uh, price action. Those far 60-minute chart at the moment, still consolidating within that red candle, looking for a bear flag to potentially play out. Here we go, so you have a bear flag formation here. Okay, so bearish consolidation before we move low. Okay, looking at the 10 minute chart now. 10 minute chart of the um, French gag. You are now coming back into resistance. Resistance is seen here, previous support equals resistance at 5390. So, and also you have this diagonal trend line coming into play as well. So, a double whammy here for resistance for the French gag. Okay, downside support is seen at 5360. Okay, now in terms of the uh, FTSE 100, now FTSE itself has been strong due to AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca keeps certainly keeping the FTSE 100 afloat today. Okay, so certainly watch out for uh, for that. Uh, but we are now into horizontal resistance on the daily chart, 60-minute chart into resistance as well. And the 10-minute chart certainly back on that double top. Now, I was expecting this resistance to hold at 7405. Certainly hasn't. Now we're looking for potential double top. At 7410 7, basically. So you're looking for double top at 7410. Okay. Uh, the FTSE itself, so you're looking for weakness. If the FTSE does break above here now, then you are potentially going higher up to 7445, 443, 4440. So let's see if, uh, if the market can uh, push higher now. Again, oil price is certainly under pressure. So again, you are going to see the FTSE under pressure as well. Daily chart of oil certainly uh, on uh, on crude oil certainly into previous support equals resistance or key level of resistance here at 48. Okay, 48, 48.5. Also in terms of the uh, sterling, uh, again, given the fact that the relationship between FTSE and sterling is quite strong, uh, inverse relationship it holds, and you are looking at a double bottom now on sterling. 
and therefore looking for a potential top on the FTSE. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of uh, European indices. Let's see how the uh, DAX performs. All eyes on that potential HNS formation on the 60 minute chart and looking for a lower high. Please be sure to visit cfts.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.